time is it? it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-O-Y Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's Crazy Amanda Reacts on TikTok too. And it's time to get this movie review started. Last night I went to see Birds of Prey. I even put down in the pinned comments below some of my favorite quotes from this movie. My girl is back from the Suicide Squad as Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie. Do I say her name right? I never know. But we got also some newcomers. Rosie Perez, who did a phenomenal job as the cop, uh, Renee. Then we got the Ian McGregor, who we know from what? The Star Wars and Obi-Wan and all that. He plays the villain in this time. He plays the black mass, the Ronin guy. I kind of like him as the villain. Forget the, the force with you, uh, Ewan. Forget the force. We're going to see you as the black mask all the time from now on. You played that villain so well. It was in the perspective of Harley Quinn, which I think that's made it even better. She's telling the story in her narrative, which makes it even better, which makes it even funnier, which just makes it even crazier. I loved every minute of it. I thought this movie had the action. All the girl power action. There was kicking butts everywhere and getting her butts kicked sometimes. <laughs> what I appreciate about this movie is they made them more of like badass women, you know? They're sure they had their little costumes and outfits and looking good, but they didn't parade that around. They didn't go out there looking all sultry and sexy and use that for their advantage. Oh no, they didn't need that. They had the badass in them in the south. They had the girl power. They had the strength. They kicked some butt. They didn't need to flaunt their sexiness in there. This was a big turnaround from Suicide Squad, because I'm going to be honest. When I first heard this movie was coming out and they had Mar Margot Robbie in it and she was playing her character, which she was the best in Suicide Squad, but I was, uh, uh, to be honest, I was not excited about it. DC brought it. DC brought it. They brought what we love about the villains, the, you know, the craziness of Harley Quinn and her mind, and also the, the humor. I laughed at so many parts. I was cracking up at some of it. And not even just Harley Quinn's humor and her craziness in her own mind and the things she says and things, but also like some of the other characters. Like I said, Victor Zaz playing the crazy guy. And he was like the little Ronin sidekick right there. And he just did such a good job. His craziness had me laughing. It did. You gotta stay around because you know those after scene credits, you might get a little peek, a little tiny something of what they say. Not much, but you wanna see what, stick around to those very end scene credits. You do. Mark my words now, this is gonna be the movie of the weekend. Maybe it's gonna beat the box office. This weekend, I'm telling you, that's how good it was. And when word gets around how good this movie is, yeah, people are going to rush to the, rush to go see it. Rush to go well, see it. If you it. already saw it yet, let me know what you thought. Comments, thumbs, all that. And if you haven't, why not? Comments, thumbs, let me know. And until next time.